when you have one of those opportunities atop the 18, you can, you can tell the crowd kind of like gets a little bit antsy. They they sense yeah. that they might be coming. Uh, I mean, you can feel it. I, I can hear it. Uh, it's just that you know sometimes you you need the feeling. You, if you rush it, you know it's gonna just go way over. So you just need the feeling to be right. But of course, I hear it. I hear the crowd and. Uh, I want to show them more. I want to show them. I want to give them more. Um, so of course, I, I'm going to try to shoot a lot more. Did you think that was going? The one you took in this last game was going in. If no, 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 no. Victor. Uh, that was a pass. Okay. <laughs> Win and cure Saul. Uh, what are some of the things that you guys are looking to improve on as uh, the season continues? I mean, we need uh, to improve a lot of things. Uh, we need to improve our our last third uh, attacking. We need to be better when we have the ball there. We need to be better. We need to be sharper um, to create more opportunities. We uh, probably have to try to get Raul more in, involved as well. Um, we have found a way now to to break teams down, but it, um, it's mostly on the sides. Uh, so we try to find um, have to find uh, more plays in the middle. Um, so that's what we're training on. Personally, how do you assess the, your your the, your return? I mean, good. Um, I feel really good. Um, I've said it before. I said it before last game. I'm, I've played four games and I won four of them. We won four of them. So now it's five out of five. So, um, I mean, it's hard to say anything else than, than just that. I, did, I went through the records a little bit and I think you and Zlatan Ibrahimovic played together for Sweden at least once during Euro qualifiers. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think one or twice here. Yeah, can, you, can you talk at all about what, you know, I don't know, he's just seem to always have such a presence, especially yeah, around me. Yeah, I mean, he has. Um, he's that kind of guy that if he walks in the room, it becomes quiet and, and just waiting for him to say something. Uh, it's the same on the pitch. You, you're just waiting for him to do something spectacular. Um, and he does. He always, you know, he always gives the crowd, he always gives the game something extra. Um, that's what he does. And, but what people don't know is that he really works hard for for this team. Um, so he's a good player. Um, so he's gonna be he's gonna be a threat against us for sure. As a D mid, how do you approach defending a striker like that, who you know can just pop out with a spectacular goal pretty much any time? Um, I mean, he's he's he doesn't come down that deep so often. Uh, so it's gonna be more the um, the center backs that's gonna have to fight with him. So he's he's really strong. So you you can't let him get close to you because then he he will use that uh, at at his advantage. Um, but of course, I have to try to help as much as I can because to uh, to put him one against one, it, it's he's really good at one v one, especially in the box. So so I have to try to help as much as I can. Rumors have it that the the goose is loose. Can you confirm <laughs> that the goose is in fact loose? The goose is always loose. 